welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to slip stitch, how to make a row of slip stitches and uh, how to turn and start your second row. So previous in a previous uh, episode you learn how to make a chain. We will be continuing from there. Um, don't forget how to hold your yarn, wrap it around the three fingers and hold it with your pinky like that. And then use these two fingers to hold your work. So for the slip stitch, we will be skipping the first chain and then we will be doing our first stitch in the second chain. So what you do is insert your hook inside the chain, yarn over and pull up a loop, then pull that loop through the chain. Let me show you again. Insert your hook inside the chain, pull up a loop, then pull that loop through the chain on your hook. And this is how you slip stitch. And that creates a flat row. So let's continue. Insert your hook, pull the loop and then pull it through. Just make sure you pull a loop that it's relatively loose, don't make it too tight, then pull it through. Let me finish this row and then I will show you how to continue with a second row. This is the last one, pull that loop and then pull it through. And you can see this is a row of slip stitches. This is the smallest stitch, the slip stitch. Okay, so what we do, we chain one right at the end and turn. And now, just like on the first row, we skip the first chain and insert the hook underneath these stitches. So you can see the V shaped stitches. You insert your hook right underneath the two loops. Yarn over and pull through the loop. Again, insert your hook through both loops underneath them. Do you see? Yarn over, pull a loop, and then pull that loop through the loop on your hook. And you continue like that. Through the end. Just insert your hook underneath both loops. And then pull a loop and pull it through. I'll finish the row so you can see how it looks like. It's a bit fiddly because these are small stitches. Okay, and right at the end where you skip the chain, you insert your hook in a chain and make your last slip stitch and this is how it looks like very very small as you can see you can barely have any height to it in two rows okay and this is it this is how you slip stitch i hope you found my tutorial easy to follow don't forget to subscribe and follow me on social media and subscribe to Crafting Happiness YouTube channel for more free tutorials like this one. Happy crocheting!